got to start with Nathan. He's at the game of the week. This is a huge District 6A11 showdown, Jeff. The winner here between the Tigers and Wolves in great shape to earn a home playoff game in the first round of the playoffs. And that's saying a lot for a BA team that started the year with three straight losses. But the Tigers are on a roll right now. They've won two out of their last three, including handing then third-ranked Westmore its first loss this season last week. Now, tonight, BA trying to keep that momentum going with another win over a West Side team. Edmond Santa Fe ranked fifth in the state, Broken Arrow sixth. First Wolves drive. Cannon Hansen's pass intercepted by Jeffrey Wilton. He takes it back 37 yards for the touchdown. BA up 7 0. Tigers now, their first possession on offense. Lafayette right to Isaiah Jackson. Nice stretch. Five yard TD catch, 14 0. BA. Things looking good for the Tigers. But Mabari Snotty trying to lead the Wolves back. Check out the run and the throw down of the defender. 31 yard TD run, 14 7 BA now on top. Let's go to the second quarter. Noah Cortez breaking tackles and scoring points. 20 yard TD run. BA up 21 to 7. 137 yards rushing for him. Still in the second quarter, right. Logs it to Cade Nagy. Eight yard TD pass. 28 14. Broken arrow. Second half now, third quarter, Lafayette right, going deep. Matt Kaiser brings it in, 42-yard bomb. One play drive, 35-14, broken arrow on top. Wolves not giving up. Cannon Hansen to Nick Sharp, nice catch, and he is gone. 67-yard touchdown, VA though still up by 17 points. Let's go to the fourth quarter, Tigers putting the nail in the coffin. He wants Holbert, eight-yard touchdown run. The Tigers go on to win their third game in their last four tries, 52-21, the final score. Big game for Tigers quarterback Lafayette Wright. He transferred into BA for this season, 163 yards passing, but four TD tosses. Noah Cortez, 137 yards rushing. He had a touchdown. Kiwan Tolbert, a TD run and a TD catch, both those in the fourth quarter for him. So Broken Arrow now three and four overall and three and one di in district play. Looking good. Looks like they're going to host a first round playoff game as long as they're not upset. They have the hard part of their schedule behind them now. Caught up with BA head coach David Alexander after the game. He is really pleased with his Tiger players. Coach, you guys started this season with three straight losses against right. tough opponents, but man, this last week, you guys seem to be really hitting your stride. Blew out Westmore last week, got this big victory. How's the confidence yeah. level of your team right now? Well, the confidence level is, is as high as it's going to get, right? Um, it, but, you know, we really never wavered. I, I was so proud of the kids after the, the start, the three, the first three games. They just kept working and working and working. And, you know, we had a little pent-up frustration last week. We went down to Westmore and played a really, really good football game. And then tonight we backed it up um, with another really good performance at home for homecoming. Uh, it was a lot of fun. All right, congrats. Coach Thank Alexander, you. good luck. Appreciate it, guys. Coming up in the rest of the season. Thank, Thank you very much, guys. All right, obviously a big win, and as Coach Alexander said, it was on homecoming. Another thing that made it special, hard to believe this is true, but for a team that's going to make the playoffs probably and host their first round playoff game probably, this was actually their first win at home all season. They'd run some one world games, obviously. They were 0-3 at home this year before knocking off Edmond Santa Fe tonight. Coming up a little later on, we're going to talk to one of the players of the game, Lafayette Wright, about what he thinks the future of this team for the playoffs is going to be. Tell then, Jeff, send it back to you.